Hello guys. So since Webtoon introduced a tiny update um, regarding the mm, size of the thumbnail, the initial thumbnail of your comic, that can be both a square and also kind of a um, more vertical looking picture like this one, rectangular picture. Um, I thought I would uh, make, <laughs> I would draw my thumbnail again. I wanted to um, take advantage of this in a way um, and show you how to do some cool line art uh, since uh, line art is something that I really value and I really love line art. <laughs> so here I have a drawing of the one I call the main character of the comic even though the main characters are three. Uh, I already said in another video why he's the main main character between them. The reason is his character arc. So um, here we are. I wanted to show you some line art tips that I have learned um, through time. Now um, I use Clip Studio to ink uh, my comics but sometimes I also use Procreate. Procreate is very good for sketching. I really love it. Um, it got. I needed a long, long time to get used to Procreate's uh, stabilizer because it's very different from Clip Studios. You can find in Clip Studio. You find the stabilizer here in the options, or if, if you can find it, you go here. And it's, uh, I mean, Clip Studios brushes have a lot of options and you should find the stabilizer on, under correction. And if it's not visible uh, in a brush, you download it, probably they haven't included it in the options. I always um, make sure the stabilizer is visible. You just need to uh, click here. Uh, so yeah. Mm, the stabilizer allows you to make smoother lines. This is how a line with a stabilizer on looks. Um, and this is how a, lines, a line without the stabilizer looks. I know it looks kind of similar because I have... Uh, um, I mean, I'm used to drawing line art, so... <laughs> um, my lines now are uh, pretty... Um, they are smooth, um, but um, if you're just starting, if you go slow, there's always a tremor in your hand. See, when I go slower, you can see it more, but if you go faster, you don't see the tremor anymore. Um, but I'm going very fast. I'm like uh, making a stroke uh, using my shoulder more than a my wrist even though if i use my wrist they still look uh, in like the lines still look interesting but it's can it can be very damaging for your hand because uh doing these tiny movements uh, even especially if you're detailing or doing stuff like that uh it will give you carpal tunnel so avoid please <laughs> That's another important thing to have line weight uh, um, in your line art. It will make it look more interesting. If you want to see, um, I mean, there are styles that uh, don't use weight in the line art. The line art is not weighted, that is to say, it's all the same. I use this uh, for some pins that I'm making. Uh, I will probably make uh, an announcement about them or something. But I, I purposefully prepared a G pen brush without, uh, as you can see here, without pen pressure. So the line is all the same. And this is useful for vector drawing because um, the line is all the same. If you're making pins, this is a good option because you can't make this kind of lines uh, with, uh, I mean, you can't make weighted lines for pins at least from what I know. It depends on which kind of style you're going for, of course, because line art means a lot in, a, in an art style. Uh, if you have uh, an anime art style, um, there are many people who kind of 
um, who use very thin lines, uh, very thin lines, and um, actually, let me use the cheaper uh, who use very thin lines, and um, they kind of give more weight, um, for example, in the intersections of the lines, um, like this. Um, again, this is to make the lines look more interesting, or uh, usually they use thicker lines for the outline, uh, and then they use uh, thinner lines for, um, of course, the details and for the inside uh, of uh, an object or a section of line art, like like this, like here, in this case. Um, wow, I can draw any more, amazing. <laughs> so yeah, they use thinner lines um, yeah, for the inside, uh, thicker lines for the uh, outline. And something that can help as well is using different brushes um, for example, I have many texture brushes here. This is one of my favorites because it has a lot of uh, uh, pressure variation. If you're seeking like this, you can see. Since I have a light hand, as I said before, um, I have to really press to uh, go full. <laughs> I have to really press to use a. Uh, Mm, the full size of the brush. Um, okay. Of course, if you don't want to press a lot, I don't, I mean, I have, uh, yeah, as you can see, my pressure curve is moved to this side because since I have a light hand, this helps me to not uh, press as much and to feel comfortable drawing anyways. Um, so, um, more tips are to, uh, as I said before, to go in, be confident and draw a full stroke. Uh, you cannot do this, uh, which is called uh, um, cheek and scratch. There are people who do it on purpose, but um, yeah, in, usually in every kind of art. Uh, if you do something on purpose, it's okay, because you're aware that you're doing it, and uh, it's a stylistic choice in that case. But if you do it because you don't know how to do things in any other way, maybe there is a problem. <laughs> um, and so maybe uh, you need to try uh, to do things in different ways, and to make line art in just one uh, swoop. And it's okay to erase uh, or to uh, undo a stroke many times. Don't be afraid of that. Some people say that uh, mastering digital art is mastering the art of uh, uh, Citeral Z. So don't be ashamed of that. Also, don't be ashamed of using many different layers. Um, yeah, it will make uh, your life easier and you can always mer merge them later once you're done. Um, so seriously, there is no shame in that. Um, and the number of layers you use is not a symptom of how good you are of how, or of how bad you are. That's just not the case. Um, there are some people, you often see people say, saying, wow, you did this all in one layer. It's just the style of the person. It's okay to use more layers. It's also okay to use less layers and put limitations on yourself as a challenge even. Um, but yeah, there, there's no set rule on how to do things you need to find your own way and yeah so as I said in useful things for line art are 
line variation, um, so that is to say different line weights. Um, to another useful thing is to draw, uh, um, is to use uh, continuous uh, strokes and to uh, undo many times until you get the line you really want because at the, especially at the beginning lines will not go where you want and this can take a very long time to master I remember I was very frustrated because I used to watch all these uh, um, advi um, advice channels where they told you how to draw line art and they were like this is the way you will instantly improve your line art yes in a way they are right these are the ways that you improve your line art at the same time it won't be overnight it will take you a long time to make full line art unless of course you're a master you're better than me of course and you master it quicker uh, i needed a long time to draw line art the way i want and I'm still improving, I'm still finding new ways to improve uh, as much as I can. So yeah, um, actually <laughs> art is a journey you're never done learning. Uh, we are just in different stages of this uh, learning. Um, and yeah, basically don't get discouraged. If your line art doesn't look the way you want it to look, uh, one day um, it, I'm sure it will look amazing. Um, and yeah, another thing when you do line art uh, that I did before and I didn't even notice is to um, occasionally flip your drawing uh, to make sure you're not like <laughs> drawing. Uh, stuff in a weird way or in a wonky way uh, because our brains uh, get used to stuff pretty quickly and therefore we don't even notice the mistake anymore it's more convenient to do this a lot when you are um, when you are still uh, uh, in the sketching phase but keep doing it while you're drawing just don't do it very often because your brain will get used even to the flipped version of the drawing. Uh, you need to find kind of a um, middle ground uh, between these two things. Another thing about line art is um, when you don't close all your lines, it makes the drawing so much more flowy and interesting. Uh, I'm not talking about the outline, maybe on the inside of the drawing, such as like in these um, tiny uh, lines that I used to detail the hair a little bit. Uh, it makes it look more interesting, I think, uh, and more flowy. And uh, something that I really wanted to improve in my line art recently was the... Um, of course, line weight, but also uh, movement. That's very important because uh, sometimes you're so focused on obtaining perfect lines uh, that you lose kind of movement in your drawing. And when I was uh, looking at uh, the line art of uh, artists I admire, I noticed that their line art is not perfect. Um, there are styles with styles with very dirty and mm, quote-unquote unclean line art that are so cool to look at like um, Doro Hedoro or Hanako Kun I hope I made sense <laughs> with my line art tips and uh, if you want to read my comic you can find it on webtoon it's called The Source it would make me really happy if you checked it out. Again, I hope these tips were useful. Um, let me know um, if you um, are interested in an art topic to talk about uh, because I really enjoy talking about art and also about um, storytelling, of course, uh, for comics and also for novels. Um, short stories, whatever you would like 
to talk about the most. So uh, thank you for listening, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!